We've reached the end of our course on solid modeling. It is now time for you to apply what you've learned. Oof, does it feel hot in here? All of this learning has been really hard work. Your challenge is to build an air conditioner so that we can reduce the temperature of the room. Create a solid model using these specifications. The air conditioner must include the air intake vents on the top and the flap near the bottom. Also, it must measure and look exactly the same as in the drawings. Before you start, let's get a closer look at the drawings. In the top right corner, we have an isometric view of the model for reference. On its left, we have the top view of the body. Here, you can see the dimensions of the different vents, the gap between them, and the location of the vents with respect to that surface. Then, we have the front view of the model that tells us the size of the side rounding radius. Here, we can see a cross section which shows the overall height and width of the air conditioner, as well as how thick the air conditioner casing is. The detail view shown on the right shows the dimensions of the flap and its position with respect to the casing. On the bottom, we have a view aligned with the front face of the flap that gives us additional information on how to build it. Last, let's focus on the left view. In this view, we can see many dimensions useful for building the characteristic shape of this air conditioner. If you look closer, you can see a sketch that shows how the model would look if its corners were not rounded. This is key information for you to start building the model. As a last note, all the rounded edges in this view have the same radius of 30 millimeters. The final model must be a three millimeter thick shell. Before you start creating the model, spend a few minutes to analyze the geometry and write down the steps you want to follow to build the air conditioner. Then, plan what tools you want to use to perform each task. Are you ready? Let's get started.